Hello everyone, it's Mandy here designing for Hollow Tree Hobbies Paper Craft Store. I'm using the fabulous Echo Park Winnie the Pooh collection. And I'm showing you some of the papers here and I'm showing you some of the photos I plan on using today. I know I wanted to document about our kids growing up on a 100 acre farm and uh, all the names that they have for exploring the wilderness. They have all these little, little tag names that they have. For all the places that they would explore. So I knew I wanted to use that one paper that was the forest print. And then I was deciding to back it on the blue um, just so that the paper would kind of pop off and it was a more muted color tone. Here I'm selecting the uh, trees from the 49 and Market collection, which I think was going fabulous. It goes fabulous with this Echo Park collection for a little more of a mature um, adventure vibe instead of you know kid kid vibe so I was trying to change it so I'm just shimming this paper down and I know I wanted the photos kind of to go up to the middle of the page and I think at this point I'm thinking I'll have the forest paper on either side of the Page. I'm just not probably exactly sure how I'm going to lay that out yet. So yeah, I'm just tearing it down to have, and there'll be a torn piece on each side. And then the, that will frame the pictures in the center. So I'm getting there. I found a, another tree. I believe that uh, collection for the 49 market is called Nature Study. Which there might still be some in the shop. If not, there's other 49 market collections that uh, that would go great with it as well. That have lots of leaves and trees and stuff like that. I loved these little signs because I'm thinking here that I want to make these signs um, to have all the names of the little places that my kids would stop and play at. So they had little places called like Crocodile Lake, which obviously didn't have crocodiles in it, but they uh, they named that. I think Annalie named that when she was really little. So there's all these different names that they have. Um, they have the Beaver Pond and the Knoll. And then they have all these memories of all these different places from growing up. And, uh, and they still reference these names today. If they say they're going for a walk, they will go for a walk down to the trail by the treehouse or or still call it these names these names they made up when they were kids which I love I'm just looking at these adhesive brads see if there's anything on there that I can use I really like that I like this adventure um, word from the 49 market collection I believe that was from the wherever collection, from the word titles from that collection. And I start flipping through all the papers and there's so many different like four by four sheets, four by six sheets would be perfect for uh, pocket pages. So at this point I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna back those photos with. I'm not really sure. So I'm going through all the papers to see if something jumps out at me. I knew I didn't want to add too many different colors. A lot of the papers in this have a red, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to add red. I do love that plaid. That's probably my favorite, one of my favorite uh, papers in the whole collection. So I was trying to see if that would work. But I think it had the red in it, so I didn't, I didn't really want to add the red. So yeah, I'm just going through a bunch of the different papers. And then I see that this Wherever collection has some frames in it that I think would actually go really well and f kind of fit the whole theme of the page. So yeah, I'm liking that, liking that a lot more. I love that these frames kind of go together, makes it look like they're all connected, but they're all separate frames.
So I jump ahead a bit. Um, off camera, I just added the 100 Acre Woods to the title. So the title actually reads Adventure 100 Acre Woods. 100 Acre Woods is kind of just a play on uh, Winnie the Pooh, which I thought was cute. So it's Winnie the Pooh line. And the next thing, I found some ferns in another 49 market uh, um, die cut pack. I really like how those are looking because the trees are just uh, stick, stick trees without leaves. So I think the ferns add some nice greenery and kind of fill in the center section and frame the photos even better. So I'm going to add those on both sides. So there we go. I've added them both sides and putting the trees back on. Just sticking them down. I also really loved these little Winnie the Pooh characters from the sticker sheet. And I have three kids, so I thought I needed three characters. And there's those signs again. I just was tr struggling trying to figure out how I was going to put the actual names that I wanted to use on these signs because they all had different phrases on them. So then I come up with the idea that I have a whiteout, uh, those whiteout pens. So I thought, yeah, I'll put that on. So I put it on and then kind of scratched the pen a bit to make it kind of look like um, painted. So this was just a little bit of a test to see if it would work. So yeah, I scratched it out and then then I can write what the uh, new name that I want to put on the sign. And I actually love how it turned out. They worked really well. So I was trying to think of a couple more things to add. Then I noticed that this collection has all these little bees, which is perfect because we actually have a couple stories about bees not not necessarily funny but um our youngest got stung pretty badly and had to go by ambulance from bees a couple of times not just once but a couple of times so um and one of those trails that we were on is one of the trails he was on when he got stung so i added all these little bees to the layout he was totally fine but uh, yeah it was a bit of a scary scary day So I'm just kind of sprinkling them all over the layout. I added a little picture that, or a little uh, sticker that says friends to the group photo. And some days are better than others when they were little, but they seem to be pretty close now. So I'm just adding a couple, a couple more bees and uh, some little bits and pieces. I think I add a little bit more greenery around where the journaling is, and it's almost done. This is the first page of a two-page layout. Uh, the second page will be in the next video. Up next is just a few still shots of the, uh, the scrapbook page. So thanks for watching my video, everyone, and see you next time. Bye.